Okay, time for me to admit my mistake. Um, yesterday, so gotta tell you, I plugged up the machine. So this week's project is to put the combine back together, but you might be able to detect in the background that we have a little uh, um, visitor. Yeah, little bit of rain decided to come in. I'll show you from the other side where we're sitting too. Okay, you can kind of see it. Kind of see the sprinkly thing, but it's uh, we got ran underneath the trailer. We're out here putting the knife sections back on the combine. And only spot in town that is flipping raining. I mean, we're out here in the middle of nowhere and this cloud comes by. Hey, can I rain on your parade for a minute? It's pretty, pretty cloudy over there. So we're gonna get we're gonna get pretty wet before we get these things back together. Yeah, sitting under the trailer, nice and cool, kind of fun. So in our getting this combine ready, these are the drain hoses, which is kind of an ingenious way to do it. I wonder kind of how you're gonna get the oil out. So that's the drain hoses for the oil, the big one. Um, let me see, this one, that one's up. The drain, that's the crankcase, and that's the filter. So that's what we're doing. So Miguel's up there again, um, losing his pants and using my belt this time, so. But yeah, so we're ready to put oil in. We're about ready to go, go wash the head, clean it up good. See if we can get all the junk out and get it ready to uh, start combining here probably this week. Okay, boys and girls, the convoy has begun to our first field to cut. We are now on the grain, on the combining of the grain. We're gonna go see what we can do. See how our crop turns out this year. Both both combines have been rehabilitated. Uh, I gotta see what's coming. Ah, oh, look out! Both combines have been put back together. Everything's working good. Down the road we go. Just thought I'd show you. We're out and about today. I don't know if you can see, maybe I'll try and, yeah. Brent is road width wide. And Miguel's is not quite, but he's more than a lane wide. So we're back to that being really wide again. It's fun times. And here we get passers by. It makes it very difficult with his big head. <laughs> Brent's got a big head. Brent's got a big head. No, I'm just kidding. So it gives these guys some space and some room, but I don't know what we're gonna do here because we got people coming in behind and we're gonna let them slip by. There we go. Truck's going by. Everybody's like, it's a traffic jam. Like the song says, but it better be a tractor, man. I think I've said that before on a, on a video because every time I hear that, I say that same thing. All right, well, we're tractor traffic jamming it. Here we go. Brent's playing a very precarious game of delineator and car tag. Which one's gonna get hit first? He's trying not to hit anybody. He's doing a pretty good job, but he is wide as wide can be. I mean, that is just a massive machine. And there goes the traffic that was stuck in behind us, and they're all, I'm sure, very upset with us, but they'll get over it part of life. I hope they like their bread. You know, all those things that they make with wheat, cookies, and all that fun stuff, you know. So there you go. Hard winter wheat. I don't know if it's actually hard winter wheat. Anyway, it's a variety of winter wheat because it is definitely a winter wheat because it grew this winter. But this is part of the deal. Living near farmers. You don't like farmers? Don't live anywhere near farm country. Kinda crazy. I like it actually. I think it's fun. There he's sneaking back at the man. I mean, you look at him, he cuts a big old wide path on that road. Big old wide path on that road. Gonna go in the high end of this. And I'm hoping that it's open. It looks like it is. So 
but he's gonna creep in the high end and then we're gonna I guess we're gonna start down below I'm not sure where he's gonna start down below in here the wheat is much better down below the green up here is really bad it's just horrible so it's pretty much this is gone this is where we're going in so I gotta get the semi here in a sec get the hopper Load and ready to go. These weeds are just terrible. Oh, it's nasty stuff. That's a full wheat head. See, this is the rye. This is the weed. The wheat is only growing this tall again. So it's kind of fighting against weeds. It's pretty ugly. But the heads are full. I mean, like that head right there. That's pretty full right there. We got a lot of wheat that we got if we can get it picked up. But it's so low to the ground. Hopefully, this will be better than it was last year. I think it will. Some of that over here is really short, but some of it's much better than down there is better. So we're gonna get what we can, boys and girls. As always, do the best we can. All right. Well, this is what farming weeds looks like. So we have something to farm. Unfortunately, it turns out to be mostly weeds, but we've got a lot more uh, foliage a lot more um, organic material going in the combine than we had last year. Well, I mean, not a lot more, but it's about the same. So it's kind of kind of weak, but it's not as brown. And it's not as, I mean, I guess it is. It's just, there's no way to explain it. You just gotta see it, and it just looks terrible. So it's been a rough year. Water has been great, but it's been great for the weeds too, so. So you know, like we've been talking about this whole entire time, it's a two-edged, double-edged sword. When you get the when you get the water, you get the weeds, and you hope and pray that the crop grows in between, and that's all we got this year. So we got a lot of a lot, a lot of weeds. So. Oh boy. But we're getting more wheat than we got last year, so I mean that's something to be said for that. Can't complain too loud. Honestly, you gotta know something here, and this is kind of crazy. This is actually shorter than it was last year. That's kind of crazy. All that water, this stuff right here, all across the here, is shorter than it was last year. The heads are a little bigger, maybe, but it is, wow. I mean, that's just kind of hard to see. Kind of gets you discouraged about farming. We may all die. No, I'm just kidding. That's that, that's you know what? That's just whistleblowing. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean uh, what do you call that? I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty short. Those are pretty short. Kind of crazy. This is the old combine. This is Miguel's combine. We call it his. This is a little smaller head. This is the one that I was behind, directly behind when we were, we were driving. But. Uh, Going through the rows, and it's just not very, not very tall. I expected so much more out of this for that water. So continue to go down the deal, down the rows, and see what we can pick up. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's how I'm just gonna keep saying thanks for watching because oh my gosh, if you're watching this, this is crazy. Okay, time for me to admit my mistake. Um, yesterday. Got a little carried away, so I got in some green stuff, and this is this is the green stuff. I gotta show you this. This green stuff right here. It's actually the wheat's not green. It's the uh, morning glory. It's along with it. So gotta tell you, I plugged up the machine. So last night we left it like this. Uh, this morning I came back out. We decided to go ahead and fix a few of these guards. These are the 
These are knife section guards, okay? So your knife runs inside the, that little groove right there. And there were three of them broke off. So I fixed those this morning, uh, waiting on Brent to come out. But uh, hey, you know, the wheat harvest is looking pretty good. In all honesty, it's looking really good that way, what we're getting. But see what the morning glory does? The morning glory crawls up that plant. Now that makes it way more difficult for us to harvest. So, and he was telling me yesterday, he said, just cut it right here. So literally that's what I'm cutting off. Now it's starting to rain a little bit. We're not probably not gonna harvest today because it is raining a little bit. And as soon as it gets wet, it makes it really bad on the wheat inside the, the bin and everything. So when Brent comes out, we'll unplug this bad boy. And um, probably right today off to something else and we'll go figure out another project to do. But just like to keep you posted as to what I screwed up. Yes, I did. I wasn't paying attention. Um, when you're cutting grain, especially when it's green, you got to really pay attention. And that's one of the things I didn't do yesterday. And so now I'm admitting it. So, okay. One of those things, you know. Thanks for watching. Come on back. I know it's kind of boring sometimes with this farming because that's what we do, but this is the little combine. I'll walk you, I'll walk you over here and show you the, the big combine. This is Brent's brand new combine. Of course, we got the freight liner that I went and got yesterday to get the uh, grain hopper trailer. And it's partially full now. Great. I think he dumped twice. I dumped one in a partial. So, and we haven't gotten very far. This is the newer one, and that is the big old head. I mean, I gotta walk a long ways away to get that sucker in there. Tells you how far away I got it. There you go. That fits the whole thing in there. 24 feet, I think. I'm gonna measure, because I've, I've been curious about that. How, how wide is that sucker? It's big. Turns out I calculated 27 by my feet, which means my steps are getting smaller. It's 24 feet wide so you can tell going down the road why that gives you such a fit but that is a nice nice machine another day another piece of equipment moving down the road gonna go see if we can kill some more weeds we are a weed abatement crew like crazy this year weeds have just really taken over so as you've seen in the past from some of the stuff i've done we got weeds so we kind of been fighting this monsoonal moisture thing going on and uh, got Miguel out in the tractor. And uh, we're gonna get run off the field here pretty quick because the rain's coming. We got a pretty good rainstorm. Shut down. Yeah, we got shut down, the grain shut down. I mean, it was it was wet, it was seriously wet. And then um, we had to go in and, dr and drain, the, we had to go in and drain the grain, the, the hoppers and stuff. And the one hopper was so high, it ran all the way down my arm, down my, I'm gonna tell you, down my butt. It ran down my pants. I was freaking soaking wet. It's all right, we survived. <laughs> it was so funny, cause it's like, take, we gotta clean the grain out. Yeah, well, the water's in there too. So anyway, we're pretty much gonna be done for a day or two. It looks like if this comes in like it did, cause it really soaked the grain. And we're, uh, I think we're gonna do a couple of rainy day projects maybe. Sounds like fun. Okay. Thanks for coming along for the ride again. Oh, I just thought about it for a second. I thought maybe I should show you kind of what we're dealing with here. So it came in with a vengeance. We got water everywhere, which totally shuts us down for probably by the time this is over for a week. We may end up picking up tires out of the out of the road again from the wash. Because this sucker is just pouring down rain. Yep. Fun times.